Hey guys, Joy Biscuit here, and today you might notice something different about this video here. I've been wondering why I'm staring at this girl here, and why is there a wall with a random bed beside it? Today, we're gonna be doing something a little different than what I usually do for The Sims. We're gonna be doing looking at some new bed hacks you can use in your builds. This is, this is, this is a few, it's a few that I know of and that I kind of do in some of my builds. I don't use them often. These are just really easy headboards, bed frames, and some platforms. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna go over some of the one beds that probably won't work. These might, not all of these, but some of these would not be functional. I just know, off the top of my head, that some of these might, would not work. So this is why she is here. She's gonna help me test these ish while I'm doing them, because I haven't tested all of these. I haven't used all these myself. I think mostly, most of them should be at five, five headboards, five bed frames, and a few platform beds that you guys can use in your builds. So, before we get started with those things, I have a few beds that you probably won't be able to use with these um, headboards, platforms, and bed frames, because either they already have a bed frame, they already have a too big of a headboard, or they just won't work, they won't, they won't look good. So look, look at those. So these beds right here are the ones that I think might not work with um, custom made headboards or bed frames. Especially the ones that already have a bed frame around them or already have a really large and elaborate bed uh, headboard. Some of these might, already, might still work, like the vampire one will work with the platforms maybe. And the, I'm excited, I can't remember. One on the one on the left. I don't know. I can't remember what pack these are from. Probably work as well as well as the one on the side. That one as well. The curved one most likely would not work unless it's like a lowered bed. I think it'll be fine. And the ones that have the posts on them probably would not look the best with the custom made headboard headboards and stuff on them. So first, we're gonna go over the headboards, and then we'll do the bed frames, do the platforms after that. Okay guys, this is the first build we have here. Like I said, these are going to be super easy that even I can do them and come up with them. So, most of these, all of these, um, you need to turn on the cheats, maybe move objects. Um, I don't think, you don't, really, you don't need debug, because I'm not using debug. I'm just using packs that I've bought, like this bit right here. It's from the home decorator pack. Which I'm actually kind of glad that I, I didn't really notice I did this. So I kind of randomized the beds a little bit. But the one I want to show you is uses, also uses a home decorator thing. So, um, I think that's all the things you need. You don't really, I don't, I'm not, not going to use tool that much in this right here. Um, but if you have it, that's also good. You have, uh, also have better build by by Twisted Mixy. Um, then this will work even better. But the first thing I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna teach you guys, probably already know these things already. If you don't, then I'm glad you're here for this video. First I'm gonna show you is that you can use wall items as the headboard, which is what I use a lot of times if I use them. So like um, wall decorations. So we're gonna use the, okay, I should pronounce this, Whittler's, Whittler's mother, and we'll put that as the headboard. Now as you can see, it obviously does not look like a headboard. I'm also using the white one because I don't know what to go with it. So we gotta move the bed into the the painting sculpture thing and then it will look better. Also you gotta use alt key as well if you don't if you didn't know that. So there's that simple headboard there. It's kind of more like um that kind of a more modern ish graphic fancy kind of headboard thing. So this bed doesn't really match with it, but I kinda of choose chose a random bed for this one. So um yeah, this one should still be functional uh, by the Sims because it's not really cutting off where the Sims are going to be walking to it and stuff. But if it doesn't work for some reason, then just move the bed a little bit forward. Try not to show the actual headboard that it has. It's also worked with ones that do not have a headboard, but there's only any good ones. I didn't see. I was just checked really fast for a decent sized bed and I put it in there. So, um, yeah. Okay, so for this next point, I have two beds this time, just to show you guys what it looks like on the smaller bed. Um, so this one will use a shelf from the Nifty Knitting. How is it? A B? I think it's a game pack, one of the smart packs. 
So basically, you can take your little shelf here and then gonna resize it up a little bit and then put it behind the bed to choose. Obviously, this is not the best bed I could have chosen, but it's just an example of what you can do with this. And then uh, choose a different color than I, what I'm choosing because obviously this does not match at all. So and as you can see, it's kind of like a... It kind of covers the entire bed, so most likely this one might be able to be usable by The Sims and someone like sit on it maybe. Um, but you can also raise both of their shelves up a little bit to um, make it look a little better or however you want to do it. And you can also, if you use debug, if you use to put in the for everything for that, you can use the canvases and put them um, right here on the lower parts of the um, bed. And they should also look pretty fine. Um, and put like a little white footboard as well to match the shelf, whatever color you chose for the shelf as well. So, yeah, this one most likely will not work. I don't, I don't, I don't think it will. So this one is not really a bed frame, not really, I mean headboard, but it's kind of um, like cabinets. It can be storage, storage, yes. So what you're going to do is you're take some cabinets, take some cabinets and you put them behind them. Not sure this will work. This will not work for like really tall headboards. Might not even work for this one. Not for sure. Haven't tried it yet. Um, I think you should because like, I actually I've actually used this before on a um, video. As you can see, you basically just put it against the wall and just put them in. But obviously, as you can see, the bed is going through too much into the cabinets. So you gotta move that for a little bit using your uh, your cheats. This is not like colliding with it. You can use alt as well. If the headboard is a little bit um, too too big, but it's not like extremely big, you might be able to just lift the cabinets up a little bit, and that would help. This one is functional, and I bet, I bet most, most of these head headboards will be functional since the since the shelf was functional. So um, go on to the next one. All right, so there's here is the next one. If you are if you have spa day, like spa day, or really want like kind of fancy like headboard or something back thing you can use this right here but not that this this uh ellipse wall mount and it should do pretty well if you want to be more so like a um, modern kind of room build hotel room whatever you want it to be and you should put it on the back choose a color obviously this is not match um but yes now a lot of these uh will work you make, um, a lot. I mean, a lot of these wall uh, decorations or paintings will work on most of these on most of these beds that have short um, headboards already, or I have no bed headboards at all. And the bed should still work after you put these in. You make these up as big as you want them to be, or you can make them as small as you want them to be because they have a limited amount of size. But um, this should work. Now, if we're gonna be going on to our last one, which we'll be using. Well, let's see if you can use a painting on the last one. Now with the bed that I have here, this might not work because it has a headboard on it and paintings, as you know, are flat. So I'm gonna change this bed out for a second. All right, so these beds are not the right, aren't the best choices I heard chose, but I chose them completely. They didn't have a headboard on them, at least not a thick one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just basically make the painting bigger and this one might not work as well as the other ones do because first off i haven't really tried this myself but the other ones i have done except for that last one i just did i haven't done that before i think it's pretty cool there's probably a lot of other ones that you could do but these are the ones that i kind of just know of or have thought of i think i think will work i think that it will look good in your build just the elephant one it looks it's it's for me like a kid's room so this will look good if you had a um you could like use this one a single bed and it'll look good or use a queen size bed and get a different picture of painting and it will work like this i think this one looks, it's actually works the best i think in my opinion if it has some red beds they'll look nice um because like the because like the frame is um white and kind of comes out a little bit so like the pillows are going inside of it so yes that one should also still work it should be still be functional um because it's just like it's a painting on the wall since we really collide with that much. So that's all of the bed headboards that we have here and um, yeah, onto the bed frames. 
All right, so here is the first paper we're gonna be using to um, make ourselves a, a kind of a bed frame with. I don't think this is the best um, bed for this, but we're gonna use it anyway. So first we're gonna do here is, it's gonna be like, you know, a normal bed frame, like campy-ish. So guys, I don't think this is the best one, but we're also gonna be using, I'll be using some debug soon well here now i don't mean i don't mean by like bed frame as in full-on canopy kind of thing but i just mean by it being like surrounding the bed but not being like a platform though so this is kind of a harder one it's not only like hard but it's like for time consuming you're gonna be using some debug canvases as well going around the bottom of the bed since this one already has a headboard and a footboard don't really need to cover it all the way, but if it does not have those two, only has one or whatever, then you have to put them around the entire um, bed, or unless, unless you want to cover up the, the footboard, the headboard, you can use these as well. So I also recommend not doing this by a, by a wall. Take off the wall first, and then put, and then do this, and dip the wall back in there, or windows or whatever you have to delete. But yes, turn on debug. I probably put the um, cheat in there for that. You got, if you don't have, didn't put the cheat in, and it's just makes these uh, better build by, then it should probably be in there. So, all right, so here is the finished bed frame. Don't have to do it all the way around like I did. I just went ahead and did it using all the sizes of canvases. And as you can see, my, mine is not the straightest bed, straightest placement of canvases that you can see out there, but this for you guys I just kind of did it quickly and show you guys what it kind of looked like so it looks like the bits are kind of engulfed in the canvases they look in white so but it, I think if you put it to get your sims to paint something you can also use the paintings as headboards well I don't have those so yeah um I doubt this one was functional because of the canvases being so around and everything but I will see if I can figure that out. So um, on to the next one. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be using some de a debug ob another debug object. We're gonna be using this um, wood fence right here. Uh, I'm sure wood will come up and stuff. And you can also use I did, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I might I might show it if I ran out of ideas. We can use this um, fence as a bed frame as well. Mm. Yeah, also you have other types of wooden posts here. Got that one. Got that one. I'm, I'm gonna use this one because it's right here. It's, it's uh, base game as well. The other two are not. All right, so here is a very simple kind of a wooden bed frame you can use. You can also make the bed frame, the posts, a little bit smaller if you like them to be. But this is just kind of a general kind of thing. Um, you can also use um, tool mod the. Um, to rotate them and you can use more like a posts above the bed as well um but just for sake for if anybody doesn't have a tool mod then you can just use the cheats that i gave you before to build a nice bed frame bed post kind of thing this is kind of like a bed frame more like a post stuff so um yeah i guess I'll put some fences um, on the bottom parts of it, and this is on the foot part, you can put them as the headboard, or you can put them as the sides. Um, there's really a lot of things you can do here with the de debug and everything. So, yeah. So, as you can see there, I put the fence right there. It's not the best looking fence there. <laughs> the best looking foot part, board, but you can, as you can see, you can use those. It's pretty nicely, actually. So you just kind of stack them on top of each other. Should look nice. Um, this, this should also be functional, because that other bed frame thing was functional. I didn't think it would be. So I think a lot of these will actually be pretty functional. Um, unless it's like a actual seat, which I will be using um, in a few minutes. So on to the next one. Okay, so this one is one that I would usually use because I don't make the houses myself. But you can use the doggy doors from um, Cats and Dogs. Use this as the headboard and the footboard, and yeah, and then you can use a fence, like the debug fences, as the sides if you like to do those. Alright, so this is basically how it's gonna look. 
you don't have to put both of these on the bottom if you don't want to. Just put them on the sides as well. Um, I use, I use, I use this one for the headboard. I also used that one for the headboard. I don't know if I'm keeping the video or not. Um, I changed it. Um, but I thought the second one looked better. I liked it better as a headboard. And I used the first one as a um, footboard. I also used these as like the side as well. Just downsizing a little bit. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Alright, so this works pretty well as far as sitting goes. I just want her to sleep and then miss the day and night cycle. So, because I missed a little bit, as you can tell, it's got a bit orange. Um, yeah, I'm not really good at changing the time here on here though. Um, so yes, it works for sitting at least. And on to the next one. I'm sure a lot of you already know you can use the pillars as a bed frame. They won't be as close to the bed like the wooden ones since these pillars are on are basically on the grid. So you can put the pillars on here and then use the canvases to outline it. Or you can just kind of make it as a kind of canopy frame if you like to do that. And you can add curtains to it to make it into more so of a canopy as well. This right here is basically how the bed bedroom is going to look. And then you can add some curtains to the um, walls of the canopy to make it a little bit more private, I guess, for your sims. I think if you add the curtains on there though, this would definitely not be functional, um, but it'll, it'll look good. It'll look good. This is definitely like a, a, a larger room, and this will work. Okay, so I just tested out this one, and it works. And I'm being proven wrong by a lot of these that I think won't work, but end up do working. I I don't know if it's going to like they be able to sleep in it or not, but she at least sit on it, and yeah. Also, if you're wondering where the sim came from, she's a sim that Waffles made. Um, a creative sim video is out on my channel. It came out on Monday. If you like to watch it, I'll probably put a little icon thing at the top of the corner, in the corner of the screen. If you want to press that to watch it. Um, yeah. So let's continue on with our building. Alright, so this one is more so for a bed that's kind of in the middle of, the, of a room. And you want to have more storage space. You don't have enough room for a whole dresser or whatever by itself or like you know this is more like a realistic one um or if you have like the a wall right here in the front of it and yeah you're facing the facing the wall what you can do is you can put dresser right here I'm mad at this one I don't like that one like this one and you can use um this other one right here and use it as an inside as well. I just want to see I just want to see colors but yeah uh real fast and then you can use the canvases again like I like I, 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 the canvases or you can use tool mod you don't have if you don't have it you can't do this but you can use the tool mod to lower the dressers into the ground and put them like around the bed like that um yeah, I will, I will, I'll show you that one, actually. So mine are off a little bit, just a little bit. Um, and you can go all the way around it and stuff, but it kind of makes like, you know, under, like, the drawers underneath a bed. Kind of can do that with that. Change the colors, put some pillows on the side part if you wanted to be sticking out some more. Or if you wanted to go all the way in, you can put them all the way in if you like to. But if this one, I'll just keep it like that, just to show you guys. Basically, this is, this is, it has potential, okay? You can do things with this best looking bed thing I have here but you can, you can do things like this you can things with this so yes so next we're going to be on to the bed bed platforms I don't I don't know what to call them I don't, really, I don't think they even exist like that but the other bed ideas elevated lower lowered bed ideas so let's do that okay so I have my five so I have my five blocks over here platforms might not use all of these, might have to change a little bit some of these, but basically, I'm using most of these. Actually, I'm not going to be using any of these. I'll probably use like one, but I just went ahead and put them all there, just in case. I didn't even put any beds here. I didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't realize that I didn't put any beds. But, let's go ahead and go on to the first one. Alright, so for this one, you do not need a platform for it. It's more so as in the creative thing, instead of like actually needing it. This one will not work. 
I know that, and I know in my heart, this will not work. This is not functional because I've tried it before. So I used, I used, I used this on a cottage room. I can't remember what, I can't remember what it was called. Um, but my sim cannot sit, sit on it. So, um, she couldn't sit or lay on it, whatever. I used, I used a smaller bed for this one, actually. This thing is just, this was still, still work with the queen size bed. I guess it's queen size, maybe king size, I don't know. So you're gonna use, um, uh, Peaceful Poof Ottoman from this body, um, pack. I should've mentioned it before, it's not always a base game, but whatever. And we use, you know, put these all the way around the bed. I realized this is not the right, this is not a good bed. This has a footboard on it, this doesn't work for footboards. The one that has the headboard is, the headboard's fine. But the footboard is not fine, not fine, because it doesn't, it just doesn't look I guess, you, I guess you could use it, just really depends personal preference. But, uh, we could still use it. Yeah, we still use it. No, we cannot use it. We're not, not, we're not using this. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not allowed in this. We're not using this one. I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna get a different bed. So we're just gonna use this bed right here. And we're just gonna basically, um, go around the edges of the bed. If you have a, the, the single one, then you could just put, fill up the two grids that the bed is on. Two, two lines of grid boxes. I don't know. Uh, if your bed's on the grid, you just fill up with, um, I think four of them, what, till eight, and we should be fine, so, yes. Now, obviously, this is not the most perfect placement that you can do here. I just can't do it really well. Um, but, as you can see, it's kind of like a, uh, sunken bed, because you get in into these, uh, what is it called? Ottomans? Yeah, Ottomans. You can also raise the bed if you like to. And it will look kind of like it's on top of these marshmallows pillow things. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I actually haven't tried that. I just thought about raising the bed. I'm like, oh, it's kind of, it's probably kind of cool. If you like, you have like a really, yeah, like, a, like a cozy room, like a, a fancy room. If you want to do a fancy room, like, or like a dessert room. I don't know. You can do anything. It looks like a, it's like a sandwich, to be honest. So on to the next one. Now this one, this one is not going to actually be a plat platform, it's actually going to be a sunken bed. You sink the bed to the ground. So I want to try to build that. I thought, I thought about it, I thought about it, but let's try to accomplish that one. I know that it's possible, but we're going to do that today. Alright, so we have our sunken part of the platform. I don't think this is deep enough, but we're going to try it anyway. So I'm just going to do it right now. I think I'm editing most of the parts though of this, so. Here's some clicking in this part. So what we're gonna do here is I think a bit would have would have bit would have a frame around it is fine. But we're gonna use um one that doesn't have it on there. So we're just gonna use this one. And what we're gonna do is actually wanna sink this a little bit lower. And I guess you could also use the ottomans around it. How do I do this? Can I use Ottomans around it and make it look like it's it's not weird? That's too big. That's too big. I knew how to do this. But yeah, essentially this is something for bed. You can use probably use like some pillows, some uh, rugs to cover up. Which you don't want to be seen, or you can just make them a different color, like white. White usually goes fine with it. Um, yeah. And I believe this one's actually kind of usable. You should make it a little bit bigger, but for the most part, this idea is fine. <laughs> this is actually one of the ones I wanted to show you guys because I don't really know how to do it myself. But for the most part, this is good. I saw a YouTube video on this. This one's actually pretty nice. So, on to the next one. You can also just sink the bed into the ground itself. If you have the tool mod, you can do it. I'm just going to tell you this right here. Show you this one right here. It's like can. Tool mod, you can just lower it. Looks like this is not usable. But you can still do it. And I think a bed, bed frame one will look fine if you have it against the wall. Kind of. So yeah. These are two sucking suck beds on platforms. Using platforms. I think that's what I meant to, I think that's what I meant to say, really, using platforms, except for that one, that one right, right there, 
doesn't actually use a platform. You can also, with instead of using these items right here, you can find the tiny living, I think it's a table really? Coffee table, but I use it as a I use it more so as a, as a pillow. You can use that instead of the ottomans, and I think it will look, look, look fine as well. So here is here is a bit with using the um, modern poof, poofy, poof. Okay. Using that instead of the ottomans we used before. Um, I think it's mostly like, this would be useful for like more like a cozy one. The other one would be useful for like a modern one because this one looks more soft and stuff. And the one looks more like hard. And this would be useful. This bed obviously isn't like the best one to use for this, but. It looks best, I think, if you have a single bed with a head. If it's have a head, if it does not have a headboard or a footboard, I think if he has a headboard, it should look fine. Footboard, I don't think it'll look good with a footboard though, because you can't like, cover that up as well. Or does it only look good? Like, only like an inch of it was be sticking out of it, maybe like a centimeter maybe. So, yeah, I think that is good for that platform there. I think this is really all of the ones that I wanted to show you guys of these bed hacks, bedroom hacks, bed, bed frames, bed bed stuff. That was, this is kind of like, I didn't, I haven't done like this before. I kind of just wanted to show you guys like things that I have found or figured out or realized or actually used of these uh, headboards, footboards, headboards, bed frames, whatever. Um, hope that they, be more beneficial, more beneficial for you guys. And not really for me. I wouldn't be able to use but all of these, but some of these I actually do use. And I'm going to show you guys these. I've thought about, thought about using, but I haven't really had a chance to. At least I forget about them or like don't think about them and stuff to finish the build. So I think this is all of them. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't finish all five of the platforms. I don't really know any more of those. But I knew, I knew the, I knew, I knew two of them. Like, well, more than one of those. I really enjoyed this one show you guys some new stuff that was kind of like haphazard and everything i hope you guys have um enjoyed the video and have learned some things from it as well so thank you guys for watching if you have any video suggestions please leave a comment down below and while you're there like and subscribe for videos